We are 75% complete from getting this transmission back in Iron Man. Iron Man is going to be back in action, man. Let me just say this real quick, man. Major shout out to Showtime Transmission. I'm going to link his information right here. Hit him up, man. If, if you rock with Pool TV the long way, this is your transmission guy right here, man. This is a very knowledgeable guy. He does a lot more than transmissions. I, I don't know if he'll do it for y'all, but hey, hit him up, man. I'm, I'm gonna also be going back with over there with him, man. Um, so I can try to get some of the knowledge from him, man, because the guy has a lot of knowledge. Um, and, and I can promise you, if he builds your transmission, he gonna ask you all the necessary questions to make sure you're gonna be doing what you wanna do. Anyway, man, let's get back into it. Um, here's what we got on the agenda for today. First thing we gonna do, um, dry shaft is back in. I tighten that up. Um, what we have to do now is uh, the torque converter bolts. So I think they said you push the torque converter all the way back into the transmission. This is lesson for y'all too. Push the torque converter all the way back into the transmission as far back as it'll go. And then take you something. Uh, a lot of guys have used a 3 8 um, Allen wrench or a 3 8 drill bit. Take it, stick it in between there, and make sure you have about 3 8 of space that you're gonna pull it in. If not, don't pull it in yet, but put your boat through, put your boat through. Let me make this make sense to y'all, cause I know that might've been a little bit of confusion. Put your boat through and then measure it. Any gap that you need to fill in, put you some washers in there. Spaces, washers, put them in there, that way, that 3 8 only fits in that space tight, and that should be, you should only push it in 3 8 of an inch. I think that's right. Before I get too far in this video, let me say this. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. Yeah, so unfortunately, where y'all are, y'all still can't see. But, you know what I'm saying, we finna get to work. So I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna take my little 3 8 shebang. A 316 shebang is thinking it now. So it's feeling like like one washer should fill that space in. So that's what, exactly what we're gonna do. We gonna, then we're gonna put one spacer in between that bag. And that's probably gonna yelly, yelly bot do it right there, guys. So we coming in this way. And then we remeasure. Oh, uh, let me get y'all checked in. Y'all see the dip stick is in and tightened up. Uh, torque converter bolts are tight. 35 foot pounds was the uh, thing. But let me show y'all what we got next. Y'all see the trans cooler sitting over here, right? The trans cooler is gonna get mounted right here. Trans cooler is gonna get mounted right here. Um, as you can see, that's the bolt for the seat. And then trans cooler is gonna be here. The lines are gonna go through right there to the frame. Through that little gap. And then back around to the transmission, over to the lines. We're gonna find something to make sure they don't come down. But what we're, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the plan. Hold time. So I bought this rivet gun tool right here. Um, these are supposed to be the rivets that have threads inside of them, where you can thread it in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drill the holes and use this little rivet. To uh, put them in nicely, where it bolts, bolts to the bottom of the truck. Uh, that way, I don't just have holes in the bottom of my floor. Uh, that way, if rivets in there, I can. If I ever take it down, which I don't ever plan on taking it down, but yeah, man, this was a good tool. Came with a lot of different size rivets. Yeah, 
I'm gonna get all this set up. I'm gonna see what size uh, drill bit I need. We're gonna drill the four holes and we're gonna see which one of these rivets we need, man. So y'all stay tuned. Guys, so it is another day. I had to go buy a quarter of an inch drill bit to drill uh, to drill these holes first. Um, hopefully everything goes right with this because I wanna use this rivet tool that I showed y'all a little bit earlier and put the things in there so I can thread it in there so it looks like it came from the factory like that. If not, we just gonna stick the bolts through and put 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 the washers in the, uh, the, 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 the nuts on the end of it and we gonna call it a date. But like I said, we gonna try this. Hopefully this works. Let me show y'all what we finna try to do. Y'all hold tight. All right guys, so there is the trans cooler. This is the rivet gun. There's the drill bit. All right, so this thing, oh, mate. Under the seat, or right behind the seat. The seat is like the seat is like up there somewhere. This is gonna be right behind the seat. We're gonna build a few boats in that open area. And let me show you how, how we're gonna do this. What y'all think about that? So this is what we got right here, and transmission is right over there. So it won't take much, but this is the plan. Frame there. And it's there so i'm gonna hold this up i'm gonna spray some paint and then i'm gonna drill the holes so y'all just hold tight all right guys hopefully y'all can see those white spots what i did here was i held it up and i sprayed paint in the spot where the, uh, where the nails are gonna go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back in i'm gonna drill a hole in every single one of these spots and then I'm gonna try to figure out how to work this rivet guard. So y'all just gonna have to be patient with me on that part. So y'all hold tight. I'm gonna go get my drill and we finna um, drill these holes. All right guys, so here we are. I just drilled one hole in here. I'll tell you what, before we go too far in this drilling hole stuff, let me try this uh, this little tool lock right here. Cause I don't know how it works. Does the hole need to be bigger? So the hole needs to be a bit bigger, y'all. So. All right, guys. So if y'all see that, that actually worked out pretty good. It's holding. That actually worked out pretty good. It's a little looser than I would want it to be, but I, you know, I know there's some pretty thin metal. But that actually looks pretty good. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep rolling with this, y'all. But if y'all see that, that looks really good. So. We're gonna keep rolling. Y'all stay tuned. all mocked up all four are in place let's hope that this <laughs> let's hope that it lines up y'all let me grab a few looks like we mostly lined up but you won't know until you try to try to thread all four of them in there. and luckily this thing does have a little bit of adjustment on it so guys i don't know much about nothing but that looks pretty good if you ask me that look pretty good up under here man look like the truck will do something that looks pretty good man we're gonna tighten that down it ain't tight yet uh but it is on all four corners bolt it down looks good got some wires we gotta wire it up we got to run the trans lines probably put a 90 degree on this side to make it go about that way and then just a straight one on this other side and then we're going right there to the train so don't need much line for this uh but yeah man so yeah that, that's pretty much done we're gonna call that done and uh 
we're gonna see what's going on next y'all y'all hold tight all right guys so we're now here with the braid is still line um so I'm getting ready to make sure that this is enough i think this is i don't know guys i'm gonna be honest with y'all so we got some thread tape i'm getting ready to put uh two-sided tape on all of my fittings that gotta go in i'm getting ready to put the thread tape on it just to make sure we ain't got no leaks um so that's what we're finna do uh let me get these lines out of here i know y'all saw y'all just saw it this is this is another day now i'm just telling y'all but uh after this line goes on man i think that is it i think that's i think we're gonna be back on the road so i'm kind of excited about that man but y'all stay tuned let me get these fittings out Get them wrapped, get them back in, and then we'll try to measure this line because it's kind of hard for y'all to sit up on this truck. So, y'all just hold tight with me. Y'all will get to start up and all that in this video and then pulling it out and all this and that. So, y'all stay tuned. Um, so, if y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but the air compressor is running right now. Um, I'm turning it on because I got to make one last cut on this braided steel line. One of them is already cut, but I'm going to cut this last one. Um, this is my first time dealing with uh, braided steel line, so uh, my, 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 my first attempt wasn't exactly the best because uh, I tried to use a hacksaw, the regular hand manual saw, and it just scrolled up all the stuff in there. So I had to retake. This time I turned on the air compressor. So I was being lazy the first time, um, but this time, man, we're going to cut it with the uh, cutoff wheel. We gonna see how much smoother the cut come out. So y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so we just got that cut. We finna unravel this. I'm gonna let y'all see it. We gonna see, did it uh, mess up again? Before we go back for a test fit. Okay, that's a lot better, man, as y'all can see. I do got a little bit, but nothing bad. Nothing, definitely nothing bad, man. The other one, when I did it with that hacksaw, oh, it was bad. But guys, anyway, let me figure out what end I'm gonna put on here. As y'all can see, I got a 90 on this one. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna use the 45 or the straight on the other one. Then I'll take y'all up under there and show y'all what we got. Y'all hold tight. All right, guys. The uh, fuel lines, I mean, trans lines are complete. I'm very satisfied with how they came out. Like I said, Evil Energy, man. Very affordable, very nice quality from what I can see so far. We're gonna be reviewing these things the entire time they're on the truck. So let's go ahead and get these things threaded on. And I'm gonna show y'all how it looks up under the truck. The whole setup, what we still waiting on, we're gonna talk about it. Here we go. So last video we had the trans cool up. As y'all can see, we now have the lines up here. The lines are running all the way around to the transmission. Hopefully it ain't too dark up under here. And I left a little extra, but I'm gonna wrap it in some heat shrink. Or I got some heat protectant. I got some heat protectant. <laughs> I don't know what I knocked over. But um, so this piece, um, the little rubber thing, uh, that piece broke, so I had to order another one. Should be here uh, next week. And I got to figure out how to put the shifter linkage back on because I don't know. Can't figure out how to do it. So once I figure out the shift, the shifting linkage and this little rubber piece come in, we're going to go ahead and dump fluid in. I may go ahead and put fluid in it now. Uh, so y'all hold tight and we're going to keep moving. All right, guys. Uh, checking back in. All right. Like I said, I'm waiting on the... Uh, Warper thing, the vacuum, whatever, vacuum modulator, little thingy, whatever on the back. Waiting on that to come in, because I put it on, it ended up being dry rotted and it broke. Um, do got to figure out how to get the shift and linkage um, back in there, but uh, like I said, I'm going to finish everything else up off camera. I've showed y'all the most important parts. Put the fluid in it, I'm going to do everything else off camera. And the next time y'all see this thing, I'm gonna be driving it out, so don't y'all leave, cause that's gonna be the next thing y'all see. Time has finally come. We are here. The lines are hooked up. The fan isn't wired up just yet, but 
the trans lines are on. I'm finna put this truck on the ground. As y'all can see, it's still on uh, jack stands uh, in the front. So I'm finna take the front jack stands down. We finna fire this thing up, let it run for a second. We gonna check the fluid. Uh, I put five quarts in it. I got about five and a half more quarts that I can put in it. Um, but we gonna put this thing on the ground and we gonna let this thing run and we check it for leaks. So y'all stay tuned. guys so so far no leaks which is a good thing um so now i let it run for a few few minutes about a minute or so i'm gonna recheck the fluid because from what i'm reading it says that that transmission should take about nine ten nine nine ish tennis um just depending on uh you know your transmission but I didn't run my lines all the way back to the front. My lines are going to a trans cooler that's like right there. So mine might take a little bit less than the typical one. So I'm gonna recheck this thing. I'm gonna add some more fluid to it. And then we are going to start this thing back up. And this time we're gonna let it warm up, operating temperature, and we're gonna check it down. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, check it back in. I literally just um, checked the fluid in here. And this thing is bone dry. So uh, I'm getting ready to throw this in there, this this quart. And then I got another five quarts. Hey. So we're gonna drop this in there. The rest of this. I put I put some in the torque converter. <clears throat> Dang, excuse me. I put some in the torque converter beforehand. Um wasn't much. I couldn't get much to go in. I, I I didn't know you had to be like super patient with it and, and just allow it to just take its time and just bubble down. But I did add some too. It wouldn't bone dry. So. I'm not gonna add this whole five quarts right here. Um, but I'm gonna add. Let's just say half. And then we're gonna recheck it and see am I even touching the stick again? Um, because that's about five and a half quarts that I just put in there, including that but that was already in the torque converter. So it could be about six quarts. I did not throw them over, so maybe not quite six. We just turned the field into a demolition. It was desolate, but I had premonition. I was training for war every exhibition, every extra mission, every enemy listening. Get off my I got bad intentions. Make it right every wrong, and I'm back with a vengeance. I show you the ropes. Beats in my town, I can show you the coast. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. Alright guys, so just put another how much did I just put on that? About another three quarts in it, and now it's reading full again while the engine isn't running. So we finna fire this thing back up again. Let it run for a few more minutes, and we're gonna check it again. I've almost put 11 quarts of fluid into this truck and it's still not enough. So I'm gonna need at least another quart that I can tell. So unfortunately I can't move it for y'all in this video. But y'all better stay tuned and go check out this video right here.
Life is walking through the mud, I'm battle tested. Can't complain, I can't debate on who the best is. Overtime, don't really care about who next is. Man, alright now.